North Chennai was built with the founding of an East India Company factory in the village of Madrasapattinam and is generally considered an area of stagnant growth. But in due course of time, it wasn't able to deal with water stagnation because of the exploding population, which is labor-oriented. The residents started facing a lot of health and environment issues due to lack of a proper sewage management system. This was when Chennai Metro Water Supply and Sewage Board decided to set up sewage treatment plant at Kodungayur under CCRCP, Chennai City River Conservation Project. The contract assigned to VA Tech Wabag was on design, build, operate mode in the year 2003 and was successfully commissioned in the year 2006 with the capacity of treating 110,000 meter cube of sewage every day. Kodungayur as a time-tested STP has been in operation for over a decade, stays as a role model plant that has been consistently treating wastewater with parameters conforming to standards prescribed by Ministry of Environment and Forest. In Kodungayur plant, the sludge is treated as a resource rather than a liability. The plant is equipped with an advanced sludge management process which is capable of producing adequate amount of electricity to run the entire plant and hence converting the waste to wealth. This 110 MLD sewage treatment plant located in the north of Chennai is successfully working for almost 10 years. The gas produced is converted into electrical power. This electrical power in quantity is self-sufficient for the operation of the entire facility. The plant has also a very sophisticated sludge treatment from where the sludge produced in the biological treatment is digested and the product results in a very high quality of the culture fertilizer. The process starts from the sewage pumping station where the sewage from the entire North Chennai gets collected through various channels. The raw sewage gets pumped into inlet chamber designed to handle a peak flow of 550,000 meter cube per day. From inlet chamber, sewage goes to bar screen. With two mechanical and one manual screen, the bar screen removes the coarse materials more than 25 mm. After screening, the sewage enters into the detritor where inert materials such as ash, sand, grit are removed. The water runs through the partial flume in order to create uniform velocity and for the flow measurement by the ultrasonic flow transmitter and then distributed to the primary clarifiers. The sewage is then pumped to primary clarifiers to reduce the total suspended solids. To reduce the BOD, biochemical oxygen demand, sewage is then passed through aeration tanks in which conventional activated sludge process of aerobic suspended growth systems take place with bio-sludge recirculation. Bacteria are responsible for oxidizing the organic matter.
Subsequently, the treated sewage overflows from secondary clarifier to the dilution water sump. Finally, the treated water is pumped to maturation ponds to reduce fecal coliform and sent to Buckingham Canal for replenishing water source. A part of the treated wastewater is supplied to CPCL and Manali Petrochemicals, where the treated sewage undergoes tertiary treatment for reuse in the refinery. After the sewage treatment, the plant generates huge amount of sludge. Managing this sludge has become a major challenge today across all big cities and municipalities. The sludge generated from clarifiers goes into sludge sump which withdraws sludge from each clarifier, then pass to thickener for pre-thickening of primary and excess activated sludge received from clarifiers. Thickened sludge is pumped to each digester through thickened sludge pumps for anaerobic digestion. During anaerobic digestion, organic matter in the sludge is converted into methane, carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulphide. The biogas produced from each digester is measured in a gas flow meter before sending to gas holder. The gas holder stores the biogas produced in the digester. Drip trap is provided on the biogas line to remove the moisture from saturated biogas. The biogas passes through a scrubbing system consisting of an aerobic reactor with an absorber and a reflex recovery unit to eliminate hydrogen sulphide. And the scrubbed biogas is then sent to gas engine for green power generation, which is the USP of the plant. The entire plant operates using the electrical energy that is generated through biogas. The digested sludge then moves to the sludge balancing tank from the digester where it gets dewatered to be sent to centrifuge. The dewatered and digested sludge is fit for reuse as fertilizer in agriculture. Green power generation is the unique feature of this STP. This is important for two reasons. First, continuous supply of power is important for the biological treatment process to be successful. Secondly, it also contributes to the global agenda of climate change. However, the facility is also equipped with the provision to extract power from the grid and also has a DG set which acts as the backup power supply. This STP is unique in the sense that sludge biogas is being used for green power production. It helps in saving the operational expenditure by over $60,000 every month. To add on to that, the Codinu STP has the distinction of being the first in the country of completing over 82,000 hours of runtime using a single gas engine, thus ensuring substantial return on investment. Kodungayur plant stands as the role model plant for comprehensive sewage treatment which focuses on resource recovery with the conviction sewage is a resource, not a liability. Let's highlight its significant achievements. Power Neutral Plant Precursor to Government's MNRE, Ministry for New and Renewable Energy Subsidy Program In line with India's ratification at Paris Climate Convention, 40% of India's power requirement to be met through non-fossil sources. Reuse of treated wastewater reduces burden on fresh water, relevant especially in a city like Chennai which depends on groundwater. 21 MLD of treated sewage to nearby CPCL refinery and 5 MLD of treated sewage to MPC. 84 MLD treated water routed to Buckingham Canal reducing environmental pollution. In line with National Water Policy 2012 and Ministry of Power Notification, Silt generated from the chamber is being used to raise the entire low-lying area of the plant. Futuristic Goals Tertiary Treatment Plant 45 MLD to nearby industries in 2019 and sludge waste farming for agricultural purposes. 
Regular lab tests are conducted and regular reports on discharge parameters are provided to ensure effective monitoring mechanism. The plant's salient features signal the way forward in terms of comprehensive sewage management and is an ideal example of a plant integrating latest government policies. We are very proud to operate and maintain plant successfully over a decade. Today, plant is a role model for other boldies in India. In project neighborhood, Vabak built toilets for girls and boys in a government high school, Kodungayur, besides drinking water filtration system under CSR program. Vabak extends its heartfelt thanks to Chennai Metropolitan Water Supply and Sewerage Board for assigning the responsibility of developing such a sustainable water infrastructure for North Chennai.